Hello, I'm Stefan Lukic. I'm one of the founders of Civils AI. And in this video, this quick demo today, I'm going to be showing you three things. Number one is how you can extract data from your PDF, borehole logs, and site investigation reports automatically and extract it onto your own private map. Number two is how you can download VGS boreholes as AGS files and Excel files. And number three is visualization tools. So understanding how you can use some of our simplified 3D modeling and 2D section tools in order to understand your site and your project better. So let me show you how to get started with the borehole digitizer. So once you've logged into Civils AI, you can go over here to the borehole PDF digitizer. From here, you can grab any borehole logs you might have, drag and drop them anywhere on the screen, and we'll extract the geological descriptions, the thicknesses, SBT count, coordinates, water level, ground level, and borehole ID. Once this is ready, uh, you can come over to the uh, data tab. And you'll see your file processing here. It will take around 30 minutes for the file to process, um, and we send it for a final uh, QA check before it's available. Once it's ready, you'll be able to click this, these details, uh, de this details tab, and you'll be able to see the 3D viewer of your borehole, the different strata, and the descriptions over here with the thicknesses. We'll also extract the ground level and the water level. And if there's any testing data associated with this record, right now we do the SBT count, it'll be available in this tab. You can also download the file as an Excel file and an AGS file and uh, import that into any software that you might be using. You can also bulk download them by ticking the boxes that will be over here and down downloading them all as a zip file. The next thing that people use us for and that we're pretty good at is collecting uh, BGS boreholes. So um, we pre-digitized a lot of BGS boreholes as AGS files and Excel files. And the way you request to download those is by selecting this tool, request public data, and you draw an area. Once you've drawn this area, you'll download or pull those uh, boreholes into your private map space. So you can sit alongside your own private data, you can pull in the public data as well. And the way uh, this works is you'll see the black uh, icons as being those which you've requested and you've pulled into your, uh, into your workspace and the lighter gray colors are those which you uh, need to request access uh, by using these tools to uh, draw the area. Once it's available, you'll actually be able to uh, open your data tab again and download these how, how you would uh, your, with your private data as well. And last but not least is visualization. So if you move your map to an area where you've already uh, requested or added uh, some files onto your own private map space, you'll unlock these visualization tools. And just to show you these briefly, um, if you imagine you have the Southwest borehole here, the Northeast borehole, you wanna know what's under the street. You wanna do some interpolation. Uh, here you can actually use the 3D modeling tool to generate a uh, 3D model, a very initial simplified uh, model through the uh, local area. And we do some initial grouping. So we use the Kriging algorithm to create these uh, point clouds between the different strata. And you can update this in real time by clicking these drop downs, selecting a different material and regrouping uh, the strata and updating this virtual borehole that will be under the road in our case. And you can also generate 2D sections through the model uh, with the 2D section generator. Uh, this is a bit of a prototype right now, but constantly uh, adding to this. Um, and the idea is, yeah, uh, a few clicks, you can generate a very rough 2D section model.